Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hey, teacher. Yep, we can hear you. Great. All right. How are you? Everything good. How was your weekend? Oh, it was good. It was good. Um, I just went to Ataco, Aguachapan. I was there all day, almost from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. I was planning to go to El Salto, Malacatiupan, but when I was going to that place, it was too late. It was all it was almost the sunset so i couldn't so i think that it, i'm gonna do it next time oh okay so you didn't get to to do that i couldn't yeah okay hold on okay next time yep All right, let me see. But you went with your family? Yep. I went with them. Let me check one thing. Okay. Hi, Claudia. Hello. How was your weekend? Mm. A little bit uh, hard, but I'm doing well. Why? What happened? Um, because I have flu and we have back to back. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was an ugly. Yeah, Mondays are ugly. <laughs> what exactly is it that you do in your account? Um, is kind of customer service and sales. Yes. Or telephone companies, right? Yes. No, it's about tires and batteries, about cars. Oh, yeah? Yes. Tires and batteries. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. That's interesting. <laughs> sí. For yes, what store? Because... For what store? Mm, Sands Club. Is the, bro the brother? Uh -huh. uh, it's Walmart, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I imagine it was going to be something like Walmart or... or... Yes. I work for Sam's Club, too. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, you guys, maybe you guys know each other. No, because... Uh, uh, and do you, do you go to the site? Yes. Uh, okay, I don't. Uh, that's why. <laughs> we are in different LOBs. Yes. And I started on chat and on voice now. Yes. And how is that LOB? Is is it, it good or stressful? Mm. What do you do in chat? I mean, of course, I imagine. Uh, on chat was customer service, just customer service related with orders that were low, low on shipping. I'm on chat, you process refunds or replacements the majority yes. of the time, but she handles different uh, cases like related to cars and tires. And that's all I know. I don't know too much about it. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, in my case, when I was on chat, uh, we used to handle uh, orders that were lost, like groceries. Yes. Was, yeah. Do you do you like chat? Uh, yes, it was my first experience working on a call center. Oh. Mm -hmm. I hear many people don't like chat. Everybody wants chat, but then they don't want it. Um, in, my, in my case, yes. I prefer chat that um, voice. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. How was your weekend, um, Ronald? Uh, it was nice because it was my my mother's birthday. She turned 42, I guess. 
and we had a party. We were hanging out. Dude, your and... mother, your mother's forty-two. Yes. Oh my God, you could be my son. You see, that's 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 she... situations like that is when I feel old. <laughs> she was twenty when I was born. Yeah. In situations like that is when I feel old. Because I'm 45, so I'm oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, like when I meet when I meet people and their parents are like 45 and oh man. So but what did 45 you... is is young? Yeah, it's still young. But you know what I think it's young now, but like 20 years ago or 10 years ago. Well, when I was 20 and I met somebody who was 40 or 45, for me that was like tercera edad, man. But now, like, people say that 40s are the new 20s. Or the new 30s. <laughs> I so, think it's okay to be 40. It's time to, to enjoy your life, I would say, because we should grind on our 20s and our 30s to enjoy on your 40s or 50s. You That's... know what, what I regret is not having children earlier. I wish I had children because my son is seven, but I wish I had him maybe when I was like 25 or 30 because he would be big now. And um, I could do many things with him, like go to the stadium, you know, or I don't know, he can be playing soccer or something, or, or maybe not a sport, maybe an instrument, maybe an art, but I can be going on the weekends with him. But no, I have to be with pizza pooch. <laughs> So, what did you do for your mother? Uh, I purchased the cake and I was uh, decorating the my house. Okay. And just that, and we purchased uh, chicken chicken sandwich. I would say pan con pollo, chicken yeah. chicken of sandwich. You made them or you bought them? No, we bought them. Where? And for for the in a place near to my house and for the kids uh, pizza. No oh, good. Well, awesome. we had two different parties. One on on Friday, because of my cousin Santiago, he turned eleven, and then the other one for due to my mom on on Saturday. It was it was good. I mean, we have a a fun fact. In my family, we got like a party monthly because my cousin was born in January, my grandfather in February, my sister in March, uh, in May, my grandmother and my uncle and so on. So we are like hanging out every single month. Hey, cool. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Just right. to make sure, I'm sorry, I have a question. Sure. I was trying to complete the, the platform, but I got some issues with with the last part. Did you complete it uh, on Thursday? I, I saw many people complaining about the platform that it, I, I don't think it was working. Yes, because there was like a, a listening part and and like the last test, and it was about like the the quotes and the the reporting speech. That's the mm -hmm. part I couldn't uh, complete. Okay, we'll see it today. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. Bert, how was your weekend? Well, I think it was really productive. I went to San Salvador. Oh yeah, how I... was it? Yeah, really good. I mean, uh, unfortunately, because the the traffic was really awful. I remember the last month when I got to, to you know went to San Salvador. And I get up at the same time seven, and I was uh, ten o'clock. But uh, this time last Saturday, I was uh, thirty minutes late i mean a little late because i had my appointment at 10 
but it was that was impossible to get on time. So I don't know what's what's going on with San Salvador, but it was a horrible, horrible traffic. Uh, in you the know, morning. everybody in San Salvador has a car. Yeah, but, it was terrible. Yeah, but so you think about it. You, the same time, I mean, the last time that I went to San Salvador, you, I, I don't know, but I went with a different uh, driver, but the guy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know San Salvador that much, and and the other guy knows San Salvador, so I don't know why. But well, that that happened. I mean, maybe the traffic or many uh, situation that. But I was late. I was really thirty minutes late. It was really uh, disappointing for Sadie because I was <laughs> I wake I wake up really. I woke up really early in the morning. Yeah. Five. <laughs> but but like here, when you were here, what did you do? Well, I had an appointment with a, a dermatologic clinic because I'm still dealing with my pimples. And I mean, I, I'm your age. I'm 45 years old. And I'm still dealing with the acne, with the pimples. And that so they... I really appreciate the honesty of these people because they say, whatever you do, you're going to die with your <laughs> that problem. Because I, in the past, I met a doctor, dermatologist, that he said that he claimed that he wants to cure my acne, but that was a false. This is something genetic. Yeah. This is something that I inherited from my parents. And also, they are you maybe you're you're also allergic to the hot to the hot weather, to the sweat. Yeah, I I cannot take pill from to complejo B. I have a lot. Of, I mean, brote. Oh really? When I drink that. Ooh, yeah. So okay. it was okay because I I I I was I mean I got up from the routine because I was. The, I did something different. Yeah, and true. I hope I'm going to. I'll go next month. I mean, I had an appointment for the next month. Hey, and what did you eat for your uh, lunch? Where? Well, that that's a really uh, when I I don't know if you know this place Los Conacaste in the morning. It's it's a real place to have breakfast. I I, I mean, we work through La Litoral. Mm -hmm. La Litoral? Yeah. So it's a place named Los Conacastes. A lot of people from the United States or from the airport, they had the breakfast in this place. And oh, yes. Then... It's, it's like when, like the road to the airport. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So it's really good food. It's not that expensive. And it's crowded because it's it's a really nice place to have the breakfast and for lunch we i don't remember why i was ah we had some pupusa <laughs> oloquilta we went to oloquilta really delicious i mean for lunch yeah it's weird but i mean wait 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 so, we so want... wait i don't understand so you came from san miguel to san salvador and from San Salvador, you went to Oloquilta to have lunch, and you came back to San Salvador. No, no, coming through, I'm coming back from to San Miguel, we passed again through La Litoral. Oh, okay. We, oh, so you, so you didn't stay here very much. No, 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 because I don't. I mean, I had an agreement with a friend from San, in San Salvador. He had his house. He has an extra room but now he has issues with his wife and i don't want to be in that place i mean if yeah. you have problems jealousy things it's kind of toxic person so in this moment in this i don't want to be there but we had this agreement whenever i go to i go to san salvador i could stay in his house mm -hmm. but it could be awkward to be you know in that kind of problem he has 
me is is really really uncomfortable to see people fighting having it is it is i think you made a good decision <laughs> all right cool uh, angela how was your weekend what did you do with my teacher with my classmate um in my case always the song um we we went at the school and come back at my house okay angela listen you said in my case always the son went to church and come back my house is that correct uh, repeat the sentence or repeat your answer no i understand i understand but you did not say sunday you said son so repeat sunday. yes okay so repeat repeat your answer please in my case mm -hmm. always we went uh the sunday we we were the shop with my family and then come back at my house okay in my case we always go to church on sundays yes repeat in my case we went no we went is past okay uh, but, but you said you you you're telling me a, a habitual action so we always go repeat why they repeat okay angela que me quiere decir fue el domingo o van todos los domingos no entiendo qué es lo que me quiere decir vamos los domingos okay vamos entonces domingos. entonces okay. Usted, okay si usted dice we went es yo fui we Entonces, por eso no sé qué tiempo me quiere hablar. ¿Pasado simple o presente simple? Yo en entiendo... el fin de semana, no, yo entiendo... los domingos a la iglesia. Exacto. Entonces, no me está hablando un pasado, pero... Entonces, me, usted me quiere decir, we, we go every Sunday to church. We go every Sunday to church. Good. Church. Ahí eso es presente simple. Vamos. Okay. To... Pero si usted me dice, we went... Fuimos. Ya, fuimos, exacto. Uh -huh. Exacto. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? ¿Qué me quiere decir? ¿Que fuimos a la iglesia o vamos a la iglesia? Fuimos a la iglesia. Oh. Fuimos, ok, entonces. Ajá. Simple. Fuimos a la iglesia porque eso, eso es que, lo que hice el fin de semana. Ok. No, yo entiendo lo que me quiso decir, pero bueno, ok. We went to church on Sunday. Repeat. We went to church on Sunday. Okay, good. Pero entonces ya no diga every Sunday we go. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, uh -huh. es por eso más simple. I go key. You understand, correct, class? Okay. S simple past. Okay, uh, Dalila. How was your weekend? Um, my weekend was pretty busy. I had to work on Saturday and on Sunday I went to the church in the morning and I rest on the afternoon. Excuse me. That was do, do, you, do you go to Catholic church? No, it is a Christian church. Okay, good. Okay. You know, you know why I ask you? I, I, I don't want to offend, but sometimes some Catholic churches are boring. Um, yeah. No, yeah, because sometimes I used to go, you know, like and I remember the priest. And I just I didn't understand anything he was saying because he was very old. <laughs> I, I remember when I was a child, I went um I used to went to the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't remember um, the specific things, but I just remember that was a bull for me. It's like, do you remember Pope, Papa Juan Pablo, Pope the Second? Yeah. You know, 
I remember people said that he spoke seven languages or I don't know how many yeah. languages. I never, yeah. I never understood one language. <laughs> you know, people say, yeah. no, yeah, people say he's very smart. He's very, but I never, because he always, he was always reading like this. I'm like, what the hell is he speaking English, Spanish, Portuguese? In every language, he spoke the same. So honestly, I don't think he spoke seven languages. Maybe, maybe he spoke his language and he, he would read. But I saw him. I saw him in person. Oh, wow. By accident. Yeah. It was difficult to understand. It was, yes, it was difficult. And, and where did you meet him? No, I, I never met him. I saw him um, in downtown when he came. When the last time he came, it was maybe, I don't know, 20 something years ago. And um, I was in downtown. I was waiting for the bus, but it was very, very full. And oh my God, Papa said, Papa. So I said, hey, I, you know, I want to save my life. Hey, be a Papa in, in person. And I saw him. But, you know, I saw him two times because then, then the next time I saw him by my house, he passed in front of my house. I remember he's very red. His face is very red, was very red. Yeah. All right. Let me see. And the, 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 so, Dali, Allison, how was your weekend? That was really heavy because we had we had to do uh, with my husband a lot of things together, and uh, and and Sunday we we went to the to a birthday party and did you eat snake sorry did you eat snake no <laughs> we didn't <laughs> okay hey so so you went you went to the um okay good it was a family time yes mm, yes we, we... It was, I don't know how to say, cuñado de mi esposo. <laughs> Wait a minute. Cuñado de mi esposo. Mm -hmm. Técnicamente the... no es cuñado suyo. No. In, in Spanish, we are con cuños. Wait, wait, wait. My wife has a my wife has a brother. So yes. he he is my cuñado, my brother in law. Yes. So his wife would be my cuñada, no? No, you're con cuñados. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, in English we consider their we consider her um, yeah, Brother, yeah. It, it se llama law de ley, only immediate family, only mother, brother, sister, mother, father, brother, sister. So, my wife, okay, her father, her mother, I'm my father in law, mother in law, and brother in law. Now, the rest of the family, so to say, oh. in laws. In-laws. Yes, what we say here, uh, familia politica, or whether we say in-laws. Okay, okay, got it. Thanks. All right, cool. So you visited your in-laws? Yes, uh, it was his birthday, and we went to my parents-in-law house. <laughs> and... Um, on Saturday, we went to the bank and 
for paying something and after that we went to have lunch and then we <laughs> we went to B3 and then we went to EPA and then we went to to buy a, a pizza and then come back to 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 house and we fall asleep four hours. <laughs> and you still go to the bank and pay? You don't like to pay online? No, but it's because we we want to pay uh I don't know how to say quotas. Um quotes. Mm -hmm. Quotes and uh from the credit card but if if we pay them for from the from online uh, it go to the current uh, oh yeah okay mm -hmm, yeah to okay. the current estado no sé cómo decir eso. to to your current status Ah oh, yeah, for okay. the current study. Okay, and Angelica, how uh, how was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. My weekend was fine. I'm sorry for being late. <laughs> no, it's okay. What'd you do? Yes. Um, I went to the celebration of my grandma. All right. She she uh she has a birthday celebration, so. We how old, how old is she? celebrate her birthday. How old is she? She she's eighty eight eighty eight years old. She's eighty eight, okay, good. Yes. Is she still active? Uh, what do you mean? Is she still like very active? She's not like sick. Mm, kinda, oh. because she has a uh, difficulty to move, but mm, it kind of ways. Uh, yeah, it's kind of active. You know, there was a story in my dad where he lives, my father, in the block. There was a a lady, a woman. An yeah. old an old woman. And this woman she lived with her son. Because the father abandoned them. Do you do you know do you know the expression old school? Mm. Class? Yes. Okay, good. Class, do you know the expression old school? Okay. Yes. So this lady, she was she is very old school. So she lived with her son. Her son went to the United States. Oh, like I said, her husband and the you know, they abandoned he abandoned her and her son for the typical a younger woman. So the son went to the United States. He worked very hard, maybe for 20 years. And the son bought a house in the United States. Itodo, and the son sends money to the lady. So the father, he got very sick. Very, very sick. So his wife, the new wife, she didn't want him anymore porque estaba like sick. Like, no, no, no. She separated with him. And she took everything. She took the house, everything. So you know what the father did? He went back to the lady. Regresó a la señora, right? Hey, I'm back. <laughs> like 30 or 40 years later, he returned. And you know what the woman did? She accepted him. Because she, you know, these people, they're very old school. Like, no, he's my husband and I have to accept him. And 
she had her papers to go to the United States and she told her son, no, hijo, I'm going to stay because your father needs me. The son, he got so, so angry with her. He stopped talking to her. Okay, do you understand the story? I agree with him. Yeah, of course. He, what happened? His father was shameless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, he says, look, mom, I never have a memory of my father giving me a ball, anything, no memory. The only memory I have of my father is when he left the house and you were crying, please don't go. And you accept him. So he was very angry and he stopped talking to his mother. The problem is the man, he died two years later. So, La Vijita, she stayed alone. And the son, nobody knows what happened to the son. Maybe he went to a different state. I don't know. So here comes my father. And this, this lady, she was 80, 87, 88 years old. And my father and his wife... No, we have to take care of her because she's, you know, she's going to die, pobrecita, and she has nobody, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So my father and his wife adopted her. <laughs> and um, what I want to tell you is that this woman, she now is, I don't know, she's 97 years old, and she is in perfect condition. And does she still live with your parents? Yes. My father died. My father died. How old was he when he died? Last year. It was like six, seven months ago. No. How old was he? He was 74, I think. Mm, okay. <clears throat> but, but what happens is that this old lady, she loved my dad very much. So she thinks that my father is visiting in the United States because she's a little. Uh, y solo pasa regañando a la esposa de mi papá. Usted algo le hizo a él y él se fue de la casa por eso. You know, she's very old school. So every now, my father's wife, she suffers a lot because, you know, tiene que cuidar la viejita. And every time I, I call my father's wife, you know, to say hello. Y la viejita sigue viva. Sí, ahí está, man. Cada día peor. <laughs> you know, like, oh, my God. Can you imagine that story? But the problem, I mean, the, the ironic part is that she's in perfect condition. Maybe she's in better condition than everybody in the house. So she has. she's going to be there a long, long time. Y como, como se hacen de ella, man. And the sun never appeared. So imagine sad stories. I admire my father, good people, but <laughs> all right. So, okay, uh, let me see my weekend. I really, I really want to kill cats, but I can't. I don't have the heart to kill cats, but really this cat problem is becoming a very, very big problem in my house because my stupid neighbors, they put the food outside every day. 20, 30, 40 cats come every day outside the street to eat. And when they want to sleep, they come to my house, our garage. And they poop, they pee, everything. It's like I don't have pets, and every day I am washing the floor because of the cats. So I don't know what to do. I am seriously thinking about calling the police because um, crazy neighbors. And I try to talk to them. Hey, mm -hmm. so no. Excuse me? If they don't take care of, of their cats, is it's better that they 
don't have one no. or something. Yeah. No, and you know that the funny part is that they don't have cats in their house. They just love animals. So then they're always putting food, but a lot of food for cats outside the house. In the pasaje. So if you ever open the door and then you go to my blog, you one time I counted like 26 cats. They come como que si se pasan la bulla, hey, you know, and my house has a garage, so now that it's raining, my house, under my car. I'm like, oh, man. And the biggest problem is that I am allergic to cats. So. And can the cats get into your neighbor's house? Is there any way they could, like, like climb the, the roof or... I imagine, or get, I, I, imagine I imagine they do because... I, it's not it's not only my problem everybody like the rest of my neighbors we talk about that they have problems too I have a neighbor that um oh listen to this she bought a Tacoma you know the Tacoma uh, pickups yep those are some beautiful beautiful Toyota pickups lean those man I I imagine they cost like thirty five to forty thousand dollars. And um, she bought the uh, the lanyo. And the cats, they sleep on top of her car. So they scratch the paint. Can you imagine? Eso sí me dolió cuando me dijo, mire, venga a ver mi carro. Yo, oh, my God, that really hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, do you see my screen class? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. We're going to do part three now. So nobody has a dog in your oh. neighborhood. <laughs> no, but you know what? I'm thinking of getting a dog like a pit bull or, or a boxer. So like when you see a cat attack. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's cruel. But the thing is, I really... I don't have the heart to kill a cat. He's very fat and yellow. He looks like Garfield. But they, they again are even more than the one dog. So that dog wouldn't wouldn't solve your problem. They are way yeah. more than him. No, but you know, I imagine that if there's a dog, I mean, if he sees a cat it's happening, woof, woof, you know, and they'll go away. Or at least they but won't so come to my house. Some cats are wild, like we got like not the same problem, but one day a cat came to my home and my father, we don't like cats or we didn't. And the cat got in, into my house, mm -hmm. but my grandfather took the cat and, and lost it in a in a place away from my house. But the cat found the way back my home. And, he returned. And, and the cat returned. It was like, it happened like three times. And then my, my grandfather, he just gave up and started to buy food <clears throat> to feed the cat. But then the cat, we called, we named the cat Felipe. And then we realized the cat got pregnant. So it was not Felipe. And now she is Felipa. <laughs> Felipa, Felipa, and we have two two dogs, but Felipa is even more wild than the two dogs, and the dogs are afraid of Felipa. And oh. Felipa is just one cat, and it's 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 very small, but Felipa <laughs> scares a pit bull, and the other one I don't remember, the, like Brent. No, I don't remember how to say that. La raza era como iba con B, como con B. Breathe. 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 Okay, so Felipa, it's it's way wild than, than the two ducks. That's why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, but, and you know, I, I, I went to YouTube, como espantar gatos, y es una gran pa. Los gatos no les gusta lo cítrico. 
Man, they sleep on my lemon tree. That's like their house. They're, I have a lemon tree in front of my house, and they're like sleeping right next to the lemons. So it's like, that's a like, it can see tricos, whatever. <laughs> okay, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher, I see. Uh, all right. So uh, it says in this class, participants will learn and practice internet terms. What do you think is an internet term? Like the, the internet uh, slang could be. Okay, yeah. Technology buzzwords. Do you know what is a buzzword? Well, I think Albert, uh, you should know this. What is a buzzword, Albert? Oh, well, now nah, I'm going to try to put it simple. I mean, it's a uh, key to simple word to enter your credential. And nowadays, is different. For example, in Concentrix, we have two ways to Authent authenticate now with the password and the normal password you enter a secret key i mean like a secret key or a secret word and the other way and you have i don't know if claudia or and ronald use it too but you have to have in your phone um duo i think you have yes, duo i have yes two. i do Okay, yeah. So you have double step to authenticate. Okay. And that's I, one. I think it's that simple. Yeah, that's one. It's, and, another, it's a secret. and another thing is buzzwords. It's like, it's like another term, like, for example, in, in call centers, you hear this a lot, especially when you're in sales. Let me give you an example. Uh, Angelica. Are you there? Hello. Hi. Yes. Are you married? Oh, no, no. Well, you know what? Don't no. tell me. Don't, don't tell me. Oh, man. Okay. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's no, okay. I'm going to ask you some questions, but remember, this is a role play, okay? Okay. So, class, imagine I like Angelica. Yes? So, listen to this scenario. Man, I like Angelica, pero no quiero sonar muy perro if I ask her, do you have a boyfriend? Because women know. Yes, women know. Hi, and and do you have a boyfriend? If if a man asks you that, you know, oh God, why do you want or or vice versa? Even if a woman asks you, do you have a a, a girlfriend? So I want to I want to find out if Angelica has a boyfriend, but I don't want to sound like I am interested. Do you understand? I don't want I don't want her to know that I am interested. So this is what I'm going to do. Hi Angelica, where do you live? Hello, I live in Soyapango. Oh, you live in Soyapango? And where do you work? I work at Text to Field. <laughs> oh. oh man, don't tell me that your boyfriend lives in Lourdes. No, my boyfriend doesn't live in Lourdes. He lives in Santa Ana. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Okay. In this case, ya estoy llorando. Because I I'm just. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, no, no, I just discovered that she does have a boyfriend. But did you see the way I asked her? Mm -hmm. Wow. You live in Soyapango. And, and don't tell me your boyfriend lives in. No, my boyfriend lives. Oh, you make it. Oh, shit. You know, so that for me, that was a buzzword. Cuando ella dijo, my boyfriend. Yeah, buzzword es como palabra de interés en la conversación. So, Claudia Giron, whoever works in a call center, and um, I learned this, I learned this in a call center. I, I remember I used to sell computers in Dell. 
And the computer I had to sell, no era suficiente, just the computer. I had to sell software. I had to sell, upgrade the memory, put more RAM memory. I had to sell many things. So I would say something like, okay, Claudia, and this computer is going to be for you, for school, for work. Y Claudia viene y me dice, oh, no, you know, just with that simple question, Claudia is going to answer me 10 questions. No, it's actually for me and my children. I have two children. You know, they still, they're still in high school, so they want to study with this. Oh, and I am listening to all those passwords. So, ah, two children, they're in high school. So I am thinking, hey, antivirus, hey, maybe software. Oh, great, great, great. Those, what, the words that she's saying, for me, those are buzzwords. Se llaman buzzwords. Pocas palabras, palabras de interés. For me, it's interest because now I know. Now I can say, yeah, okay, Claudia. Now you told me that this, this computer, you will use it and your two children will use it. So imagine if they're in high school, they're going to do this and this. I recommend you to have more RAM because of the information she gave me. Con eso la estoy um, atacando. Mm -hmm. So in a way, so you understand what a buzzword is, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's it's just, it's, it's what Bert said, very good. It's a technical, y también un caliche. Yes, it's like, um, so let's listen to this lady, let's see what she says. Let me share sound. Ten, computer virus. Hi again. As you know, we use technology every day. That is why it's important to know vocabulary about technology. Technology buzzwords: one, download; two, chat room; three, hotspot; four, blog. Five, freeware. Six, webcam. Seven, podcast. Eight, spyware. Nine, instant messaging. Ten, computer virus. Okay, so these are some technology technology buzzwords, but what are other popular buzzwords that you think of? Y aunque, I mean like, hoy creo que sin ofender, pero creo que hasta una, hay una señora por mi casa que vende pan. She, es la típica señora con sus vestidos mandados a hacer y todo. Y tiene un smartphone. Y me dice, mire, hijo, ¿cómo, ¿cuál software puedo usar para tomar mejores fotos? Yo me dijo, wow. So now it's software, me dijo. Bueno, me dijo software. Pero entendí que me quería decir software. So I imagine she really doesn't know what software is. Pero she knows the term, you know. So do you know any more technology, technological words? Technology. Uh, technology words, software. What is another word that you hear people say every day now? Um, Dennis, when you buy a telephone, what 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 do you like in the telephone? Imagine, mm. imagine I'm saying, hey, Dennis, do you want to buy my telephone? Okay, I want to see the the rank memory. Okay. The, Cuánto tiene RAM? Yes, good. Yeah, now RAM today is a common word. 10, 15 years ago, nadie sabía que era RAM. In general, ¿qué qué RAM? ¿Qué qué eso? Hoy no. ¿Cuánto tiene RAM? Cuatro, <laughs> tres. All right, very good. Um, Angela, can you think of another technology word? of every day. Sí, 
chanting this moment in writing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything to be because what, what happened to your earphones? Okay. 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 Uh, Dania, can you think of um another technology word? Um. The memory is the the tennis. Uh, um. The I don't know if the camera, the pixels. I don't know. Okay, pixels. Pixels is a technology word. Very good. What about you, Dalila? Can you think of another technology word? Hey, Dalila. Fíjese que estoy pagando cincuenta de internet. Do you think it's good or bad? Sorry, yes. Um, and maybe the um, the camera. Dalila, I am paying fifty dollars in internet. Is that good or bad? Okay. Yes, I think it's bad. Really? Yeah, it's too much. Um. Okay. Okay. Good. How... Okay. Huh? Uh -huh. No, no. No, yeah, ask ask me the question. I want to know about the mirrors. Exactly. There you go. There you go. You see, como, como la tecnología, eh, palabras así han pasado ya a ser parte de nuestro vocabulario every day. Yes. Hace 15 años, si alguien llama, hey, fíjate que me quieren poner internet por 50 dólares, está bien. Sí, ponle. But now, my example, Dalila, hey, I am paying $50 for my internet. Do you think that's good or bad? What did she say? How many megas? Yeah, that was very good. Yeah, how many megas? 50 megas, you know? So, okay, good. Those are technology words every day we use. Saben otro que lo oigo casi todos los días y siempre lo dicen mal es gigas. En la radio. Conéctate con tu super parte. Y si cargas dos dólares, te daremos cinco gigas. Es not gigas, es gigas. What? No, pero eh, siempre dicen gigas. ¿Cómo se dice yes. niña? How, how do you say niña en inglés? Hembra, how do you say hembra? Like girl. Girl. You say girl. You don't say girl. Entonces, giga is gigabytes. G, the girl. Um, yeah. <laughs> but that's another one. I, I, I hear that very often, the kid. He's saying gigas. It's not correct. All right. So, those are technology buzzwords. And the, sorry, teacher, the yes. marcas. Is 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 Apple is Samsung is um I actually I say that because I saw the movie the Steve Job mm -hmm. when he started the computer system mm -hmm. and the evolution for the computers so she. She, sorry, he created the mark for Apple. So mm -hmm. now the people speak for the marks is Apple, is iPhone, Android, is Android, mm -hmm. and that. okay, that, that's good, but it's not mark, it's brand. Okay, the brand, Apple. the brand. Mm -hmm. so, thank you. Yeah, good. Do you, and do you know why it's an Apple? I why the name Apple? No, why the fruit apple? Um, uh, after the movie, when see the the movie, South sorry, the movie actually is a not uh idea and the name no have sense actually. 
No, it does. It does. Really? Yeah. Um, se me ha ido la, el nombre de este personaje. De hecho, hay una película. Fue un científico que descifró una clave en la guerra mundial con los nazis. Y lo que él descifró salvó millones y millones de vidas. Y él fue abiertamente declarado, él se declaró abiertamente homosexual. Y por eso lo mataron. Eh, le envenenaron una manzana. De Apple. Y eh, por tributo a él, tipo de Apple. Did you know that? Yep. His name yeah. is Alan Turing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is an interesting part. What is the biggest competitor of Apple? Do you know the biggest competitor of Apple? Yes, no, maybe, what? Not exactly, I mean... but what I remember that a few years ago, it was Samsung. Yes, it is Samsung now, still. still so uh... Samsung and, 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 and Samsung and, and Apple are, is Coca-Cola and Pepsi, man. And, um, Do you know the logo of Samsung, what it is? It's very simple. It's, it's like an ovulo, and it says Samsung, right? You know the logo of Samsung? You have visto the logo of Samsung? Like a, a blue one and the letters. Is yeah. that the logo? Or just the letters? No, it's like a mobile. It's a Samsung. Do you see my screen? Yes, I, I've seen it. Okay, you see it here? Oh, yeah. You see it? Yep. Y mucha gente se preguntaba, hey, pero... Qué chafa, qué simple es el logo de Samsung. So the story is de que es la mordida de la Apple. La parte que le falta a la Apple. Una vez lo vi en, you know, like, if you get that, if you get that part and you put it in the Apple, it completes the Apple. So that's something interesting. Mm -hmm. That's why they're, they are enemies for life. All right. So let me see real quick here. The knowledge check. Okay, look. So tomorrow we're going to do present perfect and future. I'm sorry. Could, could you show the answers uh, from the last unit? The, the exercise. Oh, yeah. See I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's two, right? The 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 letter C. Hold on, let me check. This one. Yes, at the bottom. After that part. It's regarding the reported speech. That's that's the part, yes. Just writing the two of them. Do you see it there? Yes. Ah, okay, it was I was typing that like he told me like the whole 
the whole sentence because the the last exercise was like that, but it, we just have to to describe it. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, is it me or I don't know, but it's very hot right now in my house. It's right. raining here. And where do you live? In what part of San Salvador? San Salvador Oriente now. <laughs> yeah, what part is that? What? <laughs> in Ilopan. Hey, when I be hey, que chi hoy voy a hacer apopata apopata me cómo es? Soy apopaneco. Soy apopaneco. So if you're from Soyapango and Apopa, now you are Soyapotaneco, Soyapopaneco. Something like that. It's funny, man. Todos los nombres que están saliendo. Ya vieron el meme que salió de, ¿cómo es que se llama? La, la alcaldesa de Antiguo Cojatlán. Navas. Milagro Navas, ¿no? Yeah. Que sale la cara de ella así, like. Y dice, tu cara cuando te das cuenta que también vas a ser la alcaldesa de Santa Tecla. <ríe> <ríe> Como ella solo tenía de High Life, la élite, de, you know, es, voy a Antiguo Cujatlán, Santa Elena, <ríe> hoy le va a tocar parte de... Yeah. So, you're in Ilopango, it's raining, is it raining hard, Ronald? No, just a bit. Okay. So maybe it will rain here. Allison, is that your husband on the picture? Okay, maybe she's not listening. Okay, class, then um, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do the present perfect and present and perfect, okay, get a perfect future, right? Future perfect. Okay. Do you remember the future perfect? No, really. Okay. You see, the, the good thing about English the yeah, present perfect and future. The good thing about English is that um si ustedes saben que es un un tiempo perfecto. No le va a costar que es un pasado, futuro, presente, perfecto. Si ustedes saben que es un, o que es un tiempo continuo, a, automáticamente lo van a asociar que es un presente, pasado, futuro, continuo. I will be gone could be an example. I will be going. Gone. I will be gone, yes. That's a future perfect. Okay. Yes. We will do that tomorrow, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow, class. I hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful okay. night. <laughs> Thank you. Thank bye. you, teacher. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.